Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, me along with a group of friends are going up Silver Star Road. We're going up that way. So, I won't be doing much talking because my fight will be trying to get that monstrous thing up the hill, which from last night's uh, little trip that I did from that hill right over there, you may not be able to see it on the camera as well, but going even slightly on a steep incline is not good for my battery <laughs> so i gotta kind of take it easy so don't mind me if i do some recording along the way i'll maybe just put some music in the background to kind of kill the background noise but anyway let's uh, without further ado let's get up to what's called bx cedar falls so yeah i gotta kind of go gentle with this because uh, i mean it may not be of a steep grade of incline but I know that with my weight and how far we have to go, I know it can take up um, a good portion of juice to get it there. So I'm like thinking like one bar or something. But uh, yeah, I haven't been to the BX Falls or Cedar Falls campground in person. Well, I have many years ago, but uh, being there by a bike, never. First time. <laughs> so, as I am. I'll catch you guys in the most interesting part. Yeah, I've never seen it paved this way, so if it's like this most of the way, then that'll be great. Just up a wee bit more where that truck turned off. Okay. Here goes nothing. Okay, six point nine kilometers. Okay. Now this is where I could put the motor to rest and let my hub cool down because I know there's a lot of power given up that hill, so this thing is probably smoking. <laughs> okay. But in this area, kind of have to make an exception to do so. This is not really an area you want to be taking a motorized vehicle in any kind of situation, unless it's got legs. 
But uh, yeah, I remember this place vividly. Although there's some parts of it that seem smaller slash bigger than I last remember being. And uh, I'm pretty sure I can get a certain something flying through here. I just need to kind of do a bit of uh, surveying. Make sure I don't clip into any of these uh, twigs I see protruding out, hanging out, or just being in the way. So, as we carry on, so as we go down here, oh, I gotta use my good leg to land because uh, my bad leg isn't doing so well right now. It's being moody. Yeah, this, uh, Maybe one moment, I can make it. Okay, here we go. You know, I probably would have done much better if I just went on to that side. Well, I gotta change my battery already. What the heck? So I kind of figured the most way I can get the most out of this battery is if I just do sectional recordings. So like, I was just over there in that area. So if I just like kind of pan and the areas that I have to really focus on, like, sort of climbing down here, I'll just, like, cut the footage to. But, uh, there's still all that down there, so let's get over there. Or better yet, I could just do a finger snap transition, because that'd be cool. But since I'm already over here, it kind of beats the purpose of doing that. So, quite the view. I'm really surprised if I seen some minnows in there or something. <sighs> okay. Well, it looks like I got myself in my next puzzle. But nothing a little finger snap can't take care of, right? And boom, just like that. Just like magic. I am now over here. This almost seems like an effortless endeavor. <laughs> I kid you not, it's anything but. But the best part about going down this little creek area is it leads to a louder sound, which is even more therapeutic and ASMR. Look at over there. So. I'm an adventurer. I'm going places. So yeah, this is where that waterfall begins that I was at before, where it leads down to. You can tell because the sound's getting heavier in my eardrums. Not quite sure how it'll be perceived on the GoPro. But uh, yeah. Um, this would be an area I would typically do a daring do. But if you see those two branches right there, they're kind of like on each side. They look kind of cross interwoven with each other. And if I did attempted to take the drone over there without me knowing that there's something in the way that I didn't see on the screen, it could spell the death of my drone. I don't want that. So I figured if I could, can, I try to get a little bit closer and see if I can get some aerial view. And I guess I'll do my magical finger. Oh, just like that, my magical fingers still work. So yeah, uh, this is what I was actually concerned about. So uh, I kind of have to get closer to the right there if I'm going to make any kind of progress. But even then, there's a little branch just right there. I feel like I'm going to have to go all the way back down again, which I'm not very far from, but it's going to be quite a travel if I go back there and back up on the trail, go down the set of stairs and fly from the bottom up. But if I were to get the best aerial footage I could through a mini drone, this would probably be the best stretch of creek to do this in. Oh yeah, and I'm on a very like, not so supportive platform, so I'm just kind of doing this out of the whim of my own will but yeah i guess i should see if i can get something aerial here
So as much as I was wanting to capture that last part of the fall, this is the only confident way I felt like I actually putting the drone up in the air. That means having to go down these set of stairs. And I do see a couple down there which I don't want to really interrupt or be an annoyance to. So the waterfall is just down there. And I don't want to disturb the, the peace. Yeah, I like this little trail. It's neat. Oh yeah, no, this is definitely it. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, the left leg is sure is feeling it. Oh. Ouch. Oh yeah, there it is. I think I just video bombed somebody. <laughs> Well, we're going to continue along the trail with a new battery, <laughs> so stay tuned. So we're just kind of carrying on the trail here and seeing where it goes because it's supposed to lead out to a solid road somewhere, so um, we shall see. But uh, one step at a time, I guess. <laughs> this show will eventually get on the way. My disc scooters are going to get a work out today or I should take my brick pads <sighs> hmm so unfortunately a change of plans that trail was too far steep up which will be way too much for me to carry the bike up. We're just gonna go back. It might be a little bit more, it might be a little bit more effort, but at least the trail backwards will be straightforward. And that's so, I try to climb Mount Everest. So I'll catch you guys when I'm at the top of the stairs. After a lot of heavy lifting, but now we're finally towards the entrance of the campground so now we're ready to head off as I am pooped I know there's a lot of content that I missed getting back there but given the circumstance of which I was well I put myself in it was way too exhausting but one of us decided to keep on going through that trail I just know that the further we went the steeper it got and we were kind of given some foresight that the trail would have led to more complex um, pa pathways that uh, it wouldn't have made it ideal for us to keep continuing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, we got the tough part out of the way, so... Yeah. Let's go. Full send. Sort of. Ha 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 ha! Woo! 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh. Alrighty guys, well, that was a big day for me, especially the physicality part. But uh, just gonna focus on getting home because my batteries are getting closer and closer to dying. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. And if you did, feel free to hit that like button. Grab that subscribe button while you're at it with post notifications so you never miss out on a single video. Whew. And we'll see what the next video brings. So until next time, have yourselves a good day and night wherever you're watching me from. Peace.